in the crowd would be policing, saying, get this knucklehead out of here. All right, let's hear from Kyrie Irving, his thoughts after this game one loss. I mean, I'll ask you the same question I just asked Kevin. What have you learned over the course of your career when it comes to playoff basketball, when there's a, a game like this that you lose late? What have you learned that will allow you to hit the reset button? Uh, well, you look at uh, where you have some positives and uh, try to carry those over into the next game. And uh, just really just cool down. You know, give yourself a chance to reflect. Uh, it's kind of you know, crazy. We got to come in here and answer all these questions right after a game like that. But, um, you know, it's just part of the business. And um, you know, just look your teammates in the eyes and tell them that you know, we can get them next game. Uh, still one here on their home floor. It's going to be tough, obviously, but um, we're built for it. And uh, we did some good things tonight. Some things that we could uh, definitely clean up on clean up on is uh, the things that we can control, like their offensive rebounding, uh, limiting the one shot, one possession. I feel like that's what really gave them uh, some life towards the end of the game was just getting those offensive rebounds and uh, making some big plays. But uh, being up three with 45 seconds is obviously not safe when you're in this building. So uh, it's just part of being uh, in the playoffs and, and being on the journey. Yeah, 39, can you take us through what all you had to navigate through and all you had to block out to be locked in and have the performance you had? Uh, it, it's the playoffs, so there, there's a level of efficiency that you want to have uh, throughout the possessions that you're able to play uh, in a game like this. So I was just really zeroed in on what the mission was, what the goal was, and that was just to play our best basketball, weather the storm, uh, deal with the ups and downs, know that they're going to make runs, we're going to make runs and uh, be able to respond, uh, come to timeouts, uh, come out of timeouts with the execution mindset, have the same mentality, just rest at the end, not in the middle, um, and just live with the results. So, Thanks, Kai. This is a two-pointer. Uh, hey, what was your vantage point on that last play where they, you know, they push it? It's not a smart finds Tatum. Yeah, I, I came over to help, and uh, there was already somebody doubling on the ball. There was 10 seconds left uh, when I saw JB catch it. Um, Derek White uh, pushed it up to uh, JB, and um, you know I, I just thought we had a, a good time to, to really settle the ball. But uh, I thought JB was going to go up initially, and he passed it out to Marcus. Marcus head faked and dribbled in between the lane. Then I was left with two guys on the backside, so I had to make a choice. And JT made a spinning layup, and you know that's how I saw it from my vantage point. And uh, it looked like there were a couple times where you gave the fans the, the finger. I'm curious, was there anything that you thought crossed the line today, and are you the kind of guy that gets motivated by kind of going back and forth with the fans? Do you kind of use that internally as a, something to fire you up? Look, I, I mean, I'm I'm just where I'm from. You know, I'm used to all these antics and people being close nearby. Um, you know, it's nothing new when I come into this building what it's going to be like. But it's the same energy they have for me, and I'm gonna have the same energy for them. And it's not every fan. I don't want to attack every fan, every Boston fan. The ones expected to be docile and be humble and take a humble approach. Nah, fuck that's the playoffs. This is what it is. You know, I, I've I know what to expect in here, and it's the same energy I'm giving back to them. It is what it is. I'm not really focused on it. It's fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, like again, this, where I'm from, I, I've dealt with so much. So coming in here, it, you relish it as a competitor. And, and this, uh, you know, I'm gonna keep repeating myself when I say again, but this isn't my first time in TD Garden. So what you guys saw and what you guys think is as entertainment or the fans think is entertainment all is fair in competition you know so if some somebody's gonna call me out of my name I'm gonna look at them straight in the eye and see if they really about it most of the time they're not Kyrie, to that point do you feel like the hostility that you get still let's not let's not focus on this like ask me questions about the game like from it's a, not about the fans the no, fans aren't a, playing from a basketball standpoint yeah do you feel like the hostility you get there's no hostility bro it's basketball I'd say there's some hostility. From what? What what point? Are you guessing that that's hostility or like we hostility for me is like growing up? Well, we've never seen that from you this season where you are running down the floor flicking people off. It's the first time you actually caught it because it's a big time game. I respond in different ways. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to focus on that. If you want to ask me questions about the fans, go ask them. Go on the street and ask them questions. Right? But I'm asking from your perspective, from a basketball perspective, 
do you feel like the hostility that you get? It's not hostility, fans, bro. Do you feel like the energy you get from fans in this building brings out the it. best from you? Embrace it. Embrace it. It's the dark side. Embrace it. I know you said you wanted the Celtics fans to, to move forward. Do you, do you feel as if um, that could ever happen? I don't care at this point. Let's just let's get to the series and talk about our possessions and how we can get better. Not going to focus on the past with Boston. I'm on the Brooklyn Nets. Happy to be with my teammates and competing out there. Kyrie, two quick questions. One, um, what contributed to the 15 to two run that they went on in the start of the third quarter in your in your eyes? Uh, just a, a lack of uh, focus on our end. Just starting off the third quarter, watching their watching some of the film on on, uh, on the, the games that they play against the top teams. They really come out in the third quarter and try to put their stamp on the game create that separation. That way they can just pace out the game. Um, you know, so moving forward, we just got to be aware of that uh, when we're coming out in the third quarter, they're really just going to put the foot on the gas pedal. So a